major pitfalls of buying a foreclosed property. A lot of people think that's a great way to go, and it really, for most buyers who are going to own or occupy a property, it isn't the way to go. Well, I can tell you, in my experience, the biggest pitfall is they're really not uh, uh, worth what people are paying for them. Right. Uh, the, there's this idea out there that, oh, it's a foreclosure, it must be a good deal. And in my experience, uh, the amount of work that most of these properties uh, need does not, uh, you know, it just, just doesn't... It doesn't, you, it's not worth it. Right. You know, and you, you need know. very deep pockets to do it. Well, I mean, you know, what I always say to people is, you know, a house might be in a $400,000 neighborhood mm-hmm. and the foreclosure is listed for three fifty, And people say, well, look, we're in a $400,000 neighborhood. That house sold for four. That house sold for four. This house is listed for three fifty. But then you go in there and I start pointing out to them, well, that needs to be replaced and that needs to be replaced. And now we got $70,000 worth right. of work to do. Um, and so now you're not really, you know, you know they're thinking, oh, I have fifty thousand in 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 uh, appreciation right off the bat. But in fact, they're probably behind the eight ball by the time they do the work. And the other thing I tell clients is, it doesn't matter how good of a deal you get. If you don't have the cash to do the work, yep. you're going to be living in a house you hate forever. 